Outrage and action this week after a turn to terror report exposing dramatic cutbacks for dozens of agencies across New York. Those organizations providing services for victims of domestic violence, sex trafficking and other serious crimes. After our story aired, public outcry led to a lifeline. Our Tara Rosenblum joins us with the update. That's right, help is on the way. We've just learned that Governor Kathy Hochul has included $14 million in her executive budget to avoid the looming layoffs and slash services that we reported on. But how does that number stack up to other big states also facing the same cutbacks? We got a lifeline. Very grateful to Turn to Terra and News 12 for picking up the cause and running with it. So thank you. We're very grateful. Hope Store Executive Director Carla Horton is breathing a sigh of relief this week, along with 60 other nonprofit leaders across New York. <laughs> Drastic funding cuts from the State Office of Victim Services threatened widespread layoffs and program reductions. It's so outrageous. Organizers from Long Island, Westchester, and New York City reached out to the Turn to Tara team two weeks ago fearful millions of dollars would disappear from their budgets at a time when demand is surging. We experienced a 20% increase due to skyrocketing crime. It seems short-sighted. Their concerns reach the hallways of the state capitol. It's still a cut that will end operations at, at many of these providers who, who do God's work. Lawmakers promising to fight back. It's not even sufficient what we have. So we can't afford to lose even one tiny bit of that. The issue actually starts with a loss in federal funds that came from fines linked to white collar crimes. Governor Kathy Hochul just announced she would set aside $14.4 million from the state's general revenues, which we're told is enough funding to avoid widespread cutbacks. But data we've uncovered also shows other states have stepped up to replace those lost federal dollars in bigger numbers. California, for example, set aside $100 million, which translates to roughly $2.52 per state resident, while Texas is spending even more, $5.48 per person, totaling $160 million. Compare that to just $0.71 cents per capita in New York, the state with the highest demand for domestic violence services in the country. I feel like an orphan child compared to some of the other states. We reached out to the Office of Victim Services for reaction. They told me they were forced to make these cuts due to a 70% reduction in federal funding over the past three years. They also added that other grants will be made available for the agencies most in need. I'm Tara Rosenblum, News 12. If you've got a problem or issue you want Tara to investigate, send her an email or head to our website, news12.com, and click on the Features tab. That's where you'll find the Turn to Terra link.